Samples have been recovered from the body of the late Palestinian leader Yasser Arafat to try to discover if he was poisoned. He died in a French hospital eight years ago, but an autopsy was ordered only this summer after a Swiss institute found traces of radioactive polonium on his old clothing. His grave in Ramallah was opened to, to allow the samples to be taken before being resealed. Our reporter Inigo Gilmore was there. Yasser Arafat's iconic image emblazoned on the streets of Ramallah today Nearby, at his former headquarters, answers to whether the Palestinian leader was assassinated may lie behind these blue tarpaulins. Eight years after his death, Arafat's body was today exhumed and then ceremoniously reinterred. This after samples had been taken by French, Swiss and Russian investigators looking into whether he was poisoned, as many have long suspected. The indications and our convictions are that Israel did this act. This investigation is to get evidence to prove this, so that we can take those responsible to the International Criminal Court. For many Palestinians, Yasser Arafat remains the most potent symbol of their nationhood, and it's widely believed that he could have been poisoned. But the decision today to remove his remains from his grave behind me is a highly controversial one. Many believe the investigation will lead nowhere and that the past is best left buried. Israeli tanks shell Yasser Arafat's compound in Ramallah. Towards the end of his life, Yasser Arafat had become a virtual prisoner in his battered Ramallah headquarters as he defiantly took on Israel. In October 2004, he mysteriously fell ill. Evacuated to France, it was the last time he would set foot on Palestinian soil. He was dead within a month. The speed of his death at 75 and burial back in Ramallah after a short illness immediately fed suspicions of foul play. It took eight years for further tests to be carried out on his clothing and hair. Swiss scientists claim to have found traces of polonium, but those tests were inconclusive. Polonium was the suspected toxic material, but the Swiss report said more work is needed to prove it's what killed him. If they can prove that Arafat was killed by polonium, big questions will remain. Who killed him and how was it done? If polonium was used, then it's believed it would have to have been inhaled, ingested or injected, something that would have been difficult without getting close to Arafat. While Israel is accused of being the main suspect, there's fierce speculation that any possible poisoning would have been difficult without the collaboration of Palestinians. Well, suggesting that it wouldn't, this wouldn't have been possible for him to be poisoned if there hadn't been some collaboration with Palestinians. Are you going to investigate that part, that possibility? No, 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 no. A delicate subject, it's one that the chief investigator would not discuss. I went to talk to Hanan Ashwari, a close friend of Yasser Arafat, who believes that any number of people who had access to the Palestinian leader could have been responsible. Israeli solidarity people, they were official delegations, they were unofficial delegates, they were international groups, they were Palestinian groups. Any of them could have easily slipped this since we understand it takes very little to cause death. And so it, uh, I, don't, I don't believe it had to be somebody who had uh, daily access to him. Anybody who reached him could have done it. On the streets of Ramallah, conspiracy theories abound. Ultimately, this investigation may prove that Yasser Arafat was killed through polonium poisoning, but proving who was behind it may be a much more challenging task. Inigo Gilmore, Channel 4 News, Ramallah.